when you go on a journey from home to homeland, you're actually returning back to a part of yourself that you will discover when you make that journey. Mega Mission Centennial Edition! I haven't been in about 15, 20 years, so looking forward to seeing all. To basically explore Israel. Connect with my community more. To show my wife Israel for, the first, for her first time. I think it's going to be a fantastic celebration and a great way to see the country. I don't want you to see Israel with your eyes only. I want you to feel Israel. And that's what going on a pilgrimage is all about. Being on the tarmac, welcoming that last plane with all of us there to start the mission, it was wonderful. Who else but Montreal could do this? Have a landing party on the tarmac at Ben Gurion Airport with 900 people. I was in Paris and also in Roma. I saw the Shiva of Pelé Tevel, and the Southern Sea and also Roma. I'm so glad that you are here today to celebrate with us the reunification of Jerusalem. Here at the Ammunition Hill, when we talk about bravery, we remind you and everybody that comes here, Israel is not Sparta. Israel is a peace-loving nation. But if somebody threatens us, we'll do the best we can to secure our nation. A miracle wrought by the soldiers of the state of Israel. They secured the Jewish state forever, without exception. They defend you and the Jewish people and the Jewish state every day. Defend their honor. Defend their honor. Just walking towards the wall, about to touch it, the wind hit me and there's just something like mystical came inside me. The most incredible feeling I've ever had. I started to cry. I started to feel uh, a part of uh, something bigger than myself. It's an incredible honor to be standing here before you today to welcome you to the opening night of the Montreal Mega Mission. We're finally here and it's finally started. Look left and right, we are each an important reminder of the strength and resilience of our people. And through the power of community, from the work of Federation CJA and federations across the world, from the Jewish spirit of taking care of each other, we help free Soviet Jewry and are able to welcome our guest speaker tonight. He is an outspoken human rights activist and author, and was a member of the Knesset from 1996 to 2006. Today, we are all united. We, have, we are one people. We have one state of Israel. We have one Kotel. And let it always be the place where all the Jews of the world can come with their prayers and pray for the peace of Jerusalem and Am Israel. Shema Israel, Adonai Eloheinu. The work that Federation CJA has done, both here and at home, has been going on for over 100 years. It began as a dream in 1917 to support and to nurture those trying to build a better life. A century later, quite simply, there is no other Jewish organization that's helped so many people in so many ways, wherever, whenever, and forever. <laughs> Every soldier of the Israeli army takes an oath to be a soldier of the Israeli army and even if it comes to that to sacrifice my life to protect this beautiful land that we are part of 
and the freedom of this land and the freedom of their people. When you come to Mount Herzl, you only need to be quiet. To hear the voice of all these soldiers that will never speak again. We salute and honor the 23,447 fighters whose lives have been cut short. We're here today to celebrate their choices, their lives, and their memories, and to be inspired by their legacy. When you go from here, from Mount Herzl, you must ask yourself what I take from this place. Don't take the death. You must take the life. And you must ask yourself how we can create this world to be good than it was before. The mission is completely a different way to see Israel. It's, it was emotional. I don't think I've cried this much at uh, being in Har Herzl and seeing uh, our soldiers, even though I've been there before. You're always fighting smiles, joy, and tears. That's what this trip is, very emotional. Until you're here, you don't realize how it impacts you. Shalom, Malach Elyon. You know, in, in Judaism, we talk about, about holiness, about sanctity. And there are holy times, and there are holy places, and there are holy people. And this is one of those rare moments where it all comes together. Shabbat in Jerusalem is not like a regular Shabbos, as you all experience. At the Kotel, everything emanates from there, and you can feel it. The energy of what can be really viewed as the heartbeat of the Jewish people. Bless Mickey Rosenthal on the 100th anniversary of his birth. We are all making history by being here, some 900 strong, showing our love of community and our love for our state of Israel. This is our community. 1% of our entire Montreal Jewish community sitting in the room. Happy birthday to the Federation CJA for the great work that you do, the service that you do. It's because of you that we have accomplished so much, and only because of you that we will continue to be the vital safety net for so many that rely on us. 
By being on this mission and generously supporting our combined Jewish appeal, you are sustaining Jewish life in Montreal, here in Israel, and throughout the Jewish world. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and welcome the 10th President of the State of Israel, the Honorable Reuven Rivlin. I'm very happy to be with you in Jerusalem, the capital city of Israel. You are celebrating 100 years of the Montreal Jewish Federation. You and your community are an important part of this close friendship with Canada. Your care and generous support reminds us all that we are all one big family. When I dream of making Aliyah, I dream of coming here, here to Beersheba, to the Negev, where the Montreal Jewish community has invested over $70 million in a magical 25-year partnership to strengthen the fabric of society and improve the quality of life. First time I was here, um, I uh, came to a very small town and all I saw was a camel. Today I see beautiful buildings. Every time I come back to Israel, I realize the technology and, and what the Ashkenaz call the Yiddish cup can do, which is absolutely uh, fantastic. Because our role is to dream the dream and to fulfill it. But in the days of today, you can fulfill the dreams only, only with the partners. I had anticipation of what I might expect, and everything that I thought I might expect, it's even more. The party in the desert was unbelievable. This by far was the craziest event I've ever been to in my life. Fire, dancers, it was over the top insane. In the middle of the desert with 900 people and the dance floor is packed. You guys having a good trip? Yeah! I don't know. I guess they like it. Ich 
Good evening and welcome to Bet Shean. Our history, the history of the Jewish people, is an extraordinary journey that should be celebrated more often. Some of you may have noticed that it's our centennial year, 2017, our Federation CJA centennial year. Think about it, 100 years. So we are right to celebrate 100 years of community and of our shared journey. The Intifada was tough enough in the first place, but to so personalize it in this beautiful young person just made it so heart-wrenching. We are the most charitable community. We have the biggest heart. I am calling on behalf of the combined Jewish appeal. I hope we can count on you again this year. Federation CJA is the foundation that helps the community stay strong, sustainable, and connected. But the truth is, it starts with you, right here, right now. The importance of this moment is significant. Here we stand, close to 1,000 Montrealers strong, united in our love for the state of Israel, our community, and the Jewish peoplehood. Our sense of connection to one another and to our Jewish community is stronger than ever. Let's use our centennial celebration to build a legacy that will strengthen our community for generations to come. This is our debt to our ancestors and our promise to future generations. Together, we can make the world a better place. Are you ready to have a party? It's been a party <laughs> since the first second we stepped in. Everyone celebrating together is amazing and I'm so happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, what a trip. Holy schnitzel. Everywhere we went on the trip, what I saw was a tremendous amount of love for this country and a tremendous amount of love for each other. And over the last eight days, we built community here. The unity of our community was on display for all of us to see. And we all got to see Israel and see Israel in many lights. It is a remarkable, remarkable week that we have spent together. Federation CJA, thank you from the bottom of our 900 hearts. We did spend a lot of effort choosing sites, but as we were planning this, there was one thing that we never imagined. And that was the way the community would come together. Our ancestors knew that unity is strength. 
We were reminded of our true identities. We were reminded of where our priorities truly lie. Every individual can make a difference, but together we can move mountains. And make sure to put community on top of your list because you're on top of the community's priority list. I'm wearing my heart out for you. This is the heart of Federation, but this is also the heart of Avat Israel. I know we won't be here in 100 years. Medinat Israel will be here in 100 years. As we close in our closing ceremony, I'm saying to you, mission accomplished.